name's Grant McLean and I'm a project engineer on the uh, Waterview site for the tunnel team. Uh, Alice has come about uh, 1,050 rings in this tunnel, which is uh, about 2.1 kilometres. So they leave us about uh, 300 metres to go in the southbound tunnel. There's lots of work going on in the tunnels at the moment. Uh, the cross crossbashers team, the mechanical team, the electrical team, uh, the painters. So uh, all these uh, teams interface with each other. A lot of traffic and interfaces that uh, need to be uh, managed to ensure it's carried out safely. Upwards of 160 people underground at one time. So uh, in a pretty uh, restricted working area, that's a lot of people and uh, a lot of vehicles to contend with. The culverts are delivered uh, to the culvert gantry on the MPV, two at a time. Once they uh, are there, the ramp opens up to uh, expose the culverts. And a special crane with a special C-hook lifts the culverts up, rotates them 90 degrees and lowers them down and uh, locks it into the previous one. And so that process is just repeated one after the other. The uh, unique thing about this is it keeps uh, access to the TBM open pretty much all the time, except when we're placing the culverts. So the uh, placing of the culverts is not linked to the TBM at all, which uh, means both can uh, go at their own pace and don't affect each other. Once the culverts are in place, behind them comes the stage one backfill crew. So these fill the uh, the tunnel up to level with the top of the culverts. So they do first a drainage layer of uh, drainage 40 and then they uh, put in the rest of it as a, a gravel material which uh, backfills and is compacted up to level. This creates a uh, nice flat surface in the tunnel for uh, temporary traffic to run over. Then following on from that when there's uh, large spaces available, the stage two backfill team comes in and this is pretty much building the road base. So there's approximately 1.2 metres of fill that comes in there in layers, uh, 200, 300 mil uh, each layer and it builds up and uh, that becomes the, to the final road level before the uh, asphalt's placed later next year. Yeah, my name's Elaine Giorg. I'm the project engineer for Cross Passages. Uh, my job is uh, the engineering side of the works and also running production. And we have 16 cross passages on the job and their purpose is to act as escape paths from one tunnel to the other in emergencies in case of fire or flooding or any accidents in the tunnel. The cross passages are spaced at every 150 meters. We're getting closer to completion of the second tunnel and that gives us the opportunity to work on most of the fronts that we currently have, which is around 11 cross passages that we're currently working on, ranging from excavation to permanent lining. Um, as Alice excavates the tunnel, they install steel segments. These segments act as cross passage openings for us. These openings are later on removed to expose the open ground, which we then later excavate. The first stage which we're currently working on is the consolidation grouting where we concentrate on getting the groundwater under control. The second stage that we're working on is the excavation stage. Excavation consists of excavating the surface of the underground. Once the surface has been excavated to the right profile, then we uh, spray a layer of shockcrete. Shockcrete consists of fiber reinforced concrete and is applied using a shockcrete machine. The machine is, uh, uses accelerator to make the shockcrete go off and stick to the surface of the ground. Once the shock reading has been completed, we move on to the waterproofing stage of the works. The waterproofing is a PE liner, polyethylene, which gets welded onto the top of the shockcrete lining. It's using uh, heating elements. It creates a tight seal between the various layers of waterproofing. 
and uh, eventually keeps all the water on the outside of the concrete that we're trying to pour in place. Once waterproof lining is in place, we move on to the permanent lining. Permanent lining is a concrete layer that provides the finishing surface that we work against. There is, there is five different pores. We have inward pores which create the floor level for the, uh, for the people to walk through the cross passage. Then we pour the barrel works. The barrel works are um, consistent of using a formwork system brought in from Australia. The formwork system is a hydraulic system that opens up into an arch form. Once it's in place, then we can inject concrete into the, uh, into the formwork to provide the final lining of the works. The job's going really well. The guy's doing a fantastic job in doing the excavation all the way through to the permanent lining and we're hoping to finish it all off before 2017.